That's totally different song. What are you talking about? That's the TLDR. At the end of that, it just goes. I mean, I made the song, so I think I know how it goes. I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong. So one of our favorite parts of traveling, whenever we go to another country, is making a stop at a supermarket. I know this sounds super lame. Hop on the fun train. <laughs> we just love every single country we yep. go to. We always want to see what the groceries are yep. like. What do people eat in that country? And it's definitely one of our top destinations in every country we visit. We're going to Paris. We're going to go to the supermarket. Go to We're going to go to Italy. Yes. Go to That store. sounds very lame, but it's very important to who we are. And I think it's so important because we've lived in three different countries now, and yeah. that number is likely to increase in the future. And we always try to imagine what it's like living somewhere else. So today we want to help you out a little bit by telling you what the prices of groceries are in Japan. So there are a range of grocery stores available in Japan. There are like the super cheap discount ones, like yep. the Lawson's 100. There are also cheap ones like Seiyu, which used to be Walmart's. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, then there are like average grocery stores, like Lime. 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 the actual name of the grocery store. Then you have expensive ones that are kind of open 24 hours that are kind of pricey. And like then, Marowetsu. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then there's the like luxury, super expensive ones. Like Kinokunya, and also in the subways, you might see an Achari, and those are really expensive as yeah. well. In this video, we're going to a mid-range one. I don't yeah. even know the name of the grocery store we go to, but it's the big one that's close to City Hall. It's got the most stuff. It's an easy bike yeah. ride for us because we ride our bikes to grocery stores, even during typhoons. That's right, even though there is uh, Japan's 24th typhoon uh, on the way, us and many other people in Japan are out in the rain on their bicycles. I don't want to hear anybody complain about having to get in their car and go five minutes up the street with a huge trunk where you can get like a limitless amount of supplies. We have two baskets and an extra basket and that's all we can put. So sometimes we buy toilet paper and we go, that's it. Well, that's it. That's all. That's all we can fit. There are Costco's available in Japan, but yes. we don't have a car and we don't have a big enough fridge. We usually go grocery shopping every two days or so. We like to buy a lot of fresh produce mm -hmm. and work with that. We don't go out to eat all the time, even though you see our videos. We're going out to restaurants yeah. most of the time. We cook at home. So a while ago, we did a video about breakfast in Japan, and we showed you all those things, but we didn't actually discuss the prices. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go over some of the things that we had in there and how much that costs. And don't worry for those of you that do not eat things like fish for breakfast. We also priced out a bunch of things that would be an average meal that you might have. Mm -hmm. We asked you guys on our YouTube community page, what was like a go-to meal you guys might make. So we kept in mind the answers that you guys gave us to try to give you an idea of what it would cost to reproduce that in Japan. So we're gonna be talking in terms of yen. Japanese that's, yen. That's the pricing in Japan. 100 Japanese yen is around 90 cents American or $1.15 Canadian. The easiest way for you to think of it is 100 yen equals $1 and then you could gauge it however you yes. wanna. So let's talk about rice. Rice in Japan is actually a little bit expensive. Supposedly a lot of people are buying import rice instead of domestic For rice. Shame. Because it's so expensive here in Japan. So a five kilogram bag is roughly 2,400 100 yen, give or take 100 yen. Now for us, whenever we have breakfast, you usually fill one of these scoopies, which is 160 grams. That's enough for the two of us. So according to the math, there are 62.5 servings of this per a five kilogram bag, which roughly turns out to be 38.4 yen per person. So roughly 40 cents. And that you're gonna see how much it adds up into our breakfast altogether. Oh, you're gonna give them the full breakfast. I'm gonna give you down. the full breakfast price. But just for the breakfast. The, just rest, for, of the, the rest of the stuff's gonna be like I three can't bucks. Do this much math, it's too much. So on our white rice, we usually do a chopped fatty tuna or more commonly, we get these little tiny pieces of salmon. It's kind of like the breakfast thing that everyone does in Japan. Mm -hmm. And for two pieces, it costs 3.56 yen. So it's about 178 yen per serving. We also do eggs with ours. We each have one fried egg on top, which is 288 yen for a dozen or 24.8 yen per egg. Wow, you're really going for it. I am, and you'll see the whole mats at the end. We'll each get half an avocado, which is 138 yen per avocado. Yes, you heard that right. It's about 69 yen per serving. When it comes to miso soup, we get a bag that's usually 188 yen for 21 grams, which turns out to be 8.95 yen per serving. You can make it a lot cheaper. I have a recipe in the info box if you'd like to know how to make it. But we've been LAZY lately and we have not been making my homemade miso soup, which I probably should get back to doing because it's so much cheaper. So much cheaper. We buy a package of roasted nori, which is seaweed, and they're in these little tiny individual slices that are perfect 
perfect for scooping and it's around 500 yen per container. There are 80 pieces in the container, yes. which turns out to be 6.22 yen per piece. And we roughly have something like eight pieces a meal or so. So we're gonna say 49.8 yen per meal. Yes. I am that specific. For our side dishes, we usually get some cucumbers yep. and some eggplant. Lately, we've been making our own eggplant, but I didn't calculate the cost of that. For the cucumbers are 198 yen. For the eggplant is roughly 298 yen. Every package has around like four servings in it. So that turns out to be 49.5 yen for the cukies and 74.5 yen for the eggplant. For a grand total of each of us, 492.95 yen per person for our breakfast. You want to make miso soup every morning? No, I want scratch? you to make me the cucumbers, girl. Oh, it's all about these cucumbers. Make cucumbers. So cheap supermarket whole bean coffee is around 500 yen for 200 grams. And mm -hmm. I have no idea how long it's been sitting there for. Mm -hmm. Or you can get a more expensive one. 180 grams costs around 548 yen. We don't actually buy our beans from the grocery store. No. You might be saying to yourself right now, ah, well, these two are coffee snobs. And to that I respond, you know what, shame on you. Shame on you for thinking that just because we look like typical hipsters, you would somehow also think that we are coffee snobs when the reality is we are 100% absolutely, we are coffee snobs. Yep, your profiling was absolutely correct. And I make my own cocktails. If I'm gonna be spending like six bucks on 180 grams, I'm mm -hmm. gonna be going to a local shop mm -hmm. and buying their coffee from there. They mm -hmm. usually start around like 348 yen up to much higher prices depending on the kind you're getting. Uh, you'll get see what I mean? She is going on and on and on and on. Is that a shoveling motion? At this point, are we still talking about coffee? Because I don't know what that's supposed to mean. On average, it costs us 500 yen for 100 grams of beans. In the morning, we wind up making a French press out of that, and that gives us two big cups of coffee for 50 grams of beans, like which, big, yeah, big, so something like this. Big boy cups. Uh, so that turns out to be roughly 125 yen per cup. That's pretty good. That's not bad, I think. That's actually way cheaper than what you would get in Tokyo. The cheapest cup of coffee that I've had from a like bean roasty place was mm. just recently when we went to Hanadanayama. Hanayama. Hanayama. Hamadayama. Hamadayama. Is yes. that it? Hamadayama. Hamadayama. It's Yama is mountain and ham is ham. So it's the ham, ham mountain. Ham in the mountain. Hamadayama. Yes. I got a couple. Ham of, of the mountain. Ham of the mountain. Hamadayama. Hamadayama. <laughs> We went to Hamadayama, we, went to we bought Hamadayama. some beans. We yes. bought some beans and I got a $2 cup of coffee. Oh! Yeah, it was really cheap, but it was a tiny, tiny cup and right. we make like this much. Okay, how about for those tea drinkers out there? Ugh. What's wrong with that, Eva? Tea is just like diet flavored stuff. It's, it's delicious. It's not, it's what just, if I want to have an apple, I'm going to have the actual taste of an apple by eating it rather than diluted water apple crap. Sorry. That was really, I mean, he just went off on it, didn't he? I mean, he? tea is just like the flavored water episode that we did. No, it's not. Yes, it is, it's except like delicious. this hotter. This is decaf chai tea, and it has cinnamon and nutmeg and like starry anise and like all these other magical. Anyhow, How much tea cost? 25 bags of normal tea costs around 258 yen, which mm -hmm. is like 10 yen per serving. Right. Uh, and an import tea is going to be 20 bags at 398 yen. Tea's disgusting. Okay, well, <laughs> one day you'll learn not to be a barbarian. That's right, I said it. Also, big shout out, thank you to you guys for sending us so many coffee beans from around the world. Yes. Because Remember only... that huge box that we did that had like 30 or 40 different boxes of beans? We just finished them. We had we them for over a year. Just finished them. So thank you to Take Flight Coffee. This is not a sponsored video, but this is the final remaining bag and it's decaf. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with it. We're like, I don't know. Decaf. You hold it. You hold the it. The power of Christ compels you. So for other breakfast stuff, for example, milk, you could get a carton for 238 yen and that's for 900 milliliters. Interestingly though, soy milk is a lot cheaper. It's 198 yen for a thousand milliliters. There you go, soy milk is cheaper than regular milk. But one's delicious, you see, <laughs> and one is made from taking beans and squeezing them
them in a nut sack. So for me, I usually wind up using the soy milk after a workout. I work out three or four times a week. I know you can tell, can't you? Mm. How Stop did you get it. so firm? Okay, so I How usually have bananas usually run 158 yen for four or 39.5 yen per banana. A little bit of soy milk in there. I have some protein powder. I don't buy in the grocery stores out here. I actually get it imported because I researched a good one that I like. And that is usually $71. US, but it lasts me a while at least. Yogurt, and that runs at 208 yen for a 400 gram container. Uh -huh. I usually do a couple tablespoons of that. Frozen blueberries are 275 yen for 200 grams. So expensive. I only put in like 10 blueberries, so I'm not gonna do the math for how much a whole protein shake costs. I've already done enough math for yeah. this video. We're good. And let's take a break from this video and go for a tour of a Japanese grocery store. Take it away. Almond milk is really Pricey. expensive. You can get other almond milks in different places, like specialty marts. Mm -hmm. But at our grocery store, there was no there was no almond milk until recently. And the almond milk is 428 yen per a thousand milliliter, which I think is pretty expensive. Now, when it comes to like other vegan options, I remember when we were in LA, we actually saw like just a supermarket we went into. They had like tofu burgers and like vegan burritos. We don't have those here in Tokyo. They might be somewhere. I haven't seen them in any of the supermarkets that we go to. Yeah. Now with your three different milk so you could have cereal which is roughly 275 yen for 240 grams they are very small little bags <laughs> of cereal big, yeah. and the selection is very very slim we went back to toronto we we're in the grocery store uh -huh. and so the way that we walked through like the ramen aisle or the rice aisle in yeah. japan which is huge was like the cereal aisle and yeah. some of these boxes were like just like Dead. Family size. So you have regular like, size, which is a monster, and then you have family size. But the point is, cereal is not that common here, and we barely ever eat it. Yeah. Sometimes, though, we do have granola with our yogurt, and this is only when we feel like splurging because this is our little thing of granola right here. Fruits and seeds. It's just and fruits and there's seeds. There's no like cereal bits in it. 480 grams, and we pay 1,600 yen for this. That's 16 bucks. So I've had this bag for the past three years yeah. and I just <laughs> nibble at a seed every once in a while. You have a seed, put it back in. There you, you go. Let's know, get I, I literally take a tablespoon and I'm like, uh, that's enough. Ah, uh, that's enough. Like, I don't my, be crazy. Yogurt. Let's talk about bread. So a plain white loaf of bread goes like for squishy. about 95 yen for six slices, which is 15.83 yen per slice. But we no never... one cares. Boo. <laughs> no one's like I'd like to buy just one. Thing. They're like buying the bag sign. No, but you know people gotta economize. Mm -hmm. yeah. But even if you go to a bakery and you buy a good loaf of bread, mm -hmm. you're looking at they don't even sell like those like they don't big have ones. Huge rolls. They'll do like these little half. Like, like our rolls are like usually this and they're like around 300 yen yeah. for something like that the for price? a good crusty bread. See now you understand why the Bermuda was econ economical for us. Yes. Because if we buy an expensive loaf of bread and it goes crusty by like day four and it's super hard, we're like, we need you to come back to life. No, we can't afford this. <laughs> the Bermuda is a money saver. <laughs> It is. It is. So for those of you that want peanut butter with your toast, you can get Skippy here, this little tiny boy, ah. 598 yen I'm for skipping. 340 grams. This is like roughly around like $5.50. If we went to Costco, yeah. I think we would walk away with peanut butter. Sure. Because they probably have the big boy jars. Big boys, probably for the same but, price. Um, wow, I mean, it's... It's so small. But we don't eat that much peanut butter, so we just have the small thing and we like have it like once every two months or so. What happens if somebody wants to make a grilled cheese sandwich? True, I guess they'll have to be rich. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we saw people mentioning that they make a lot of grilled sandwiches at mm. home, so if you wanna do that here, you might have to save your up a bit. your money. We had friends over for their birthday, and yep. so we decided to make like pasta dinner. Uh -huh. So we went out to buy uh, a ball of fresh mozzarella cheese uh -huh. from like the cheese place. There are places here that you can, that are specialty cheese shops. Yes, we can get lots of cheese yeah. here, lots of very good cheese, but yeah. it comes at a premium. That little mozzarella ball, one of them was 2,100 yen, which is roughly $21 for an amazing, amazing. mozzarella ball. But we don't buy that regularly. 
particular. It's I like happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, and you're ball. sharing that with us. Yeah, but you can get cheese at the grocery store as well. Yes. It's just that it's it's terrible in mm, my opinion. Like, not that great. And a sack of 400 grams of mixed shredded white cheese will cost. 448 yen. If you feel like getting ripped off, you can spend 750 yen for this ridiculous mix of cheese that come in at 105 grams. For some reason, brie is available everywhere. A camembert for 90 grams will cost you 261 yen. And if you want to get like a cheap, fresh mozzarella, 100 grams will cost you around 223 yen. So it is possible to get some cheese, mm -hmm. But it's not cheap. Not, it's not, not like cheap. when we go to Europe and we're mm -hmm. freaking out over like the cheese that we can get. One of the things we love doing when we go to Europe is we go to the delis and we could see all the uh, fresh meat. That is something I sorely miss. I haven't seen them in any of the grocery stores no. that we go to here at least. But you can buy some pre-sliced, pre-packaged meat. If you want some roast parma ham, you're going to be paying 379 yen for a 70 gram bag, little tiny bag. You could be paying 275 yen for 135 grams of sliced ham or 288 yen for half of that when it comes to salami. And it's, so it's gross. It's, it's like, not even good stuff. It's like oily yeah. and when you eat it you're like it doesn't taste right. Like as a European my soul uh, crumbles a bit and mm -hmm. so I can't even bother with it. Like no. it's so bad that I don't I can't even eat it. Right. And when we go back to Toronto and we go to Starsky's. Go to Starsky's. Oh my god Starsky's in Mississauga. Cut so much meat and get all them pierogies. The pierogies, and they just give out the cheese. Pierogies. No, they give out cheese samples and 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 like meat samples. They like give it's away nothing. all these free samples. I could smuggle that back, sell it at the black market here. Appreciate your boards of cheese and meat that you have. Look your mother in the eye and thank her for letting you eat meat in Europe. This was way too long of a pause. Really weird. That was really weird. Pre-made sushi and sashimi and like whole fish. I think are are cheaper in Japan than they are overseas. I can't remember. I like, never the, bought fresh seafood back in Canada, so I don't know. My mom's a pescatarian, so we buy fish all the time, but it's always like pre-filleted pieces, while mm. in Japan you can get like big boy pieces. And as you can see here, trays of sashimi and sushi are wildly available in the grocery stores, and those can go from the cheaper end, like 400 yen, up to 1,200 yen, depending on the price and the quality. I will say we have bought cheap sashimi and cheap tuna rolls before. Yeah, still amazing. Amazing. Yeah, we didn't They're get still sick, better like, than anything I had in Canada. Yeah, because honestly. I mean, I mean, it's like local awesome ingredients. Yep. But once you start like dabbling in the different pre-made trays, mm -hmm. you do taste the difference in quality. Sure. So I but would, even the cheapest stuff is great. It is, but I'm gonna give you that recommendation again. If you go to a um, subway station and there is a like high-end department store, when you go just before they close, they'll sticker all the sushi and it'll be like 50% off or like 30% off, and then you can have like a quick easy supper for like half price. Sushi. And mm. we've not ever been sick from any nope, of this. It's, it's, great. Just, it's just fresh and delicious. So, discount any time. So that's it for this video. I hope we gave you a little bit of an understanding of what prices are like for food in Japan. Mm -hmm. We've got some more prices that we're going to go over in our blog post. So make sure you check those out if you want to learn a little bit more about produce and like frozen food that you can microwave and whatnot. But the fun doesn't stop there. Come on over to my video. I got some cocoa curry refriable fried rice, cocoa curry rice you could take home with you. You can't go wrong with this. Why choose that adventure when you can look at this? This is an omu rice package. What is this? That's, look how thin this is. You're in love with the cocoa. It's just rice with cocoa curry flavoring, which Come I'm obviously gonna eat video. later. Come. Follow me. If you follow her, she won't get any of my rice. Come with me. Nah, nah, no! Nah.